Welcome to the second part of the video. Although M shell has the capacity to hold 18 electrons, in case of potassium, there are only eight electrons in M shell. There are not nine electrons. There are just eight electrons and the last electron moves to N shell. In order to understand this, we have to understand subshells. Up until now, you have just been uh, informed about shells. K, L, M, and N shells. K shell can hold two electrons. L shell can hold eight electrons. M shell can hold 18 electrons. And N shell can hold 32 electrons. And this uh, electron holding capacity is given by the formula 2n square. All right, in addition to the shells, K, L, M, N, there are subshells also. And these subshells are S, P, D, and F. Each of these subshells, they also have their own unique electron holding capacity. S subshell can hold only two electrons. P subshell can hold six electrons. D subshell can hold 10 electrons. F subshell can hold 14 electrons. Now let us see how many subshells are present in the shells. Let us look at the first shell, the K shell, K shell. K shell, the first shell has just one subshell, one S, all right? K shell has just one subshell, one S. And uh, S shell can hold, just two, uh, can hold just two electrons, right? So K shell having one subshell can, holds just two electrons. Now let us look at the second shell, the L shell, all right? The second shell, the L shell has two subshells, 2S and 2P. 2S can hold two electron, uh, two electron and 2P, okay, P can hold six electrons, right? So L shell in total holds how many electrons? Let me use another color. Two plus six, eight, right? All right. Now let us look at third shell or M shell. M shell, the third shell has three subshells, three S, three P and three D. Let us see uh, the electron holding capacity of M shell, all right? Uh, along with the subshells. So 3S holds two electron, S can hold two electron, right? Then subshell 3P holds six electrons, right? P can hold six electrons. Then 3D, okay, it holds 10 electron, right? So in totality, how many electrons? Two electrons, two plus six plus 10, 18 electrons, right? Okay, so I hope this makes sense. <clears throat> let us move on. Uh, let us move on. Now let's see how electrons get filled in each of the subshells. We know that the shell with the least energy gets filled in first, right? So that's the reason why K shell gets filled in first. Then it's the L shell then it's the M shell, then finally it is N shell, right? This we are very clear with. But what about the electronic distribution in subshells? This image here gives us the reference. We, we have taken this as the reference, all right? Um, 1s is the least energy uh, level, energy subshell. So 1s gets filled in first. Then it's 2s. Then it's 2p. 
After 2p, the electron moves to 3s, then 3p. After filling 3p subshell, the electron does not go to 3d. It goes to 4s. d 3 then 4s when we look at these two subshells 4s has lesser energy than 3d so electron first moves to 4s then only electron goes to 3d subshell all right so let me write this down here 3 4s has less energy than 3d all right let us let me write this down over here now let us see electronic configuration uh, of potassium okay in different subshells so first 1s is filled in completely two electrons go in 1s then after second energy level second subshell 2s then 2p all right then after third energy level third uh, subshell 3s 2 3p6 so uh, so until now 18 electrons have completely filled uh, the subshells 2 2 4 4 plus 6 8 8 plus 2 10 10 plus um, sorry 6 plus 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 6 18 right 18 electrons have um, completely filled the subshells. Now, one last electron is left, right? Now, where will that last electron go? Will it go to 3D or will it go to 4S? Of course, it will go to 4S because 4S has le lesser energy than 3D, right? Okay. So, the last electron moves to 4S, 4S. 4s1. Now notice that 4s is the sub energy level of fourth shell. 4s is the energy level, uh, sub energy level of fourth shell. Where and then 3d is the sub shell of third shell, right? What we have seen is because 4s is lesser in energy than 3d electron is going to the fourth shell right so this is the reason why we see that the electron the last electron of potassium moving to n shell the fourth shell in place of staying in the same shell okay so this explains why the energy level of the subshell explains why the last electron moves to the fourth uh, fourth energy level n shell in place of staying in the m shell okay so although a uh, m shell can hold 18 electrons the last shell moves to the uh, the last electron moves to the fourth energy level because 4s has lesser energy than 3 i hope this makes sense um stop recording